Still trying to get a carpet transition metal to stick into that concrete sub floor? In this video, I'm going to break it down for you. What's good? It's Carpet Mike here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com. You know the deal, bringing you all the tips, tricks, and strategies to be a mega success in this carpet and flooring industry. But we have a carpet gripper metal. We have a pair of 10 snips, we got some concrete nails, and we're going to get down to business here. So most people cannot get these to stick to concrete subfloors on their first try it's okay don't beat yourself up we're going to go ahead and first things first cut it from baseboard to baseboard so everything's sitting perfectly next we need a variety of different concrete nails smaller is better in most cases don't go to the big box joints and think you need one inch nails to get into that concrete you just need a little tiny nail to bite down into it and you're good to go so in this video i'm actually using 11 16 concrete nails and it's what comes standard with the tack strip from the big box store so if you go to home depot or lowe's you buy a box of tack strip it has 11 16 concrete nails in it that's what I'm using on this particular job. The reason being is I have two layers of sheet vinyl I have to get through first before I even get into the concrete. Now, if you're driving your metal directly into the concrete, you could use five ace concrete nails, which are also sold at all the big box joints. So you don't have to do any special ordering online or anything like that. They do have a much bigger variety at the carpet supply stores, but these are the two main ones you're gonna deal with. That's all you're gonna need in most cases. So when you're setting the nail in the metal here, the metal typically has preset holes on it. Now, don't use those. You wanna take the nail and just find your own spot in the metal and give it a little tap, tap, tap so it grabs into the metal. Then move your fingers out of the way and smash that puppy home so that it goes right into the concrete there. This is gonna give you the best odds of getting it to stick. Now, you may be saying, Mike, I tried that a million times. My concrete's all jacked up. It just won't grab and hold into place. I get that. Even the seasoned pros run into these problems from time to time. What I want you to do is, once you catch your breath and you get bring your temperature back down, everything's cool, you've done losing your mind over the fact that these nails are not grabbing into your concrete, go up to the store, get some PL400, get some liquid nails, get some heavy duty contact adhesive. You can glue these metals directly to the concrete subfloor. Now, if there's sheet vinyl or VCT tile, anything like that, odds are it's not gonna work too well in your favor on holding. You want it to go directly to the subfloor, glue it in, put some weights on it, let it cure overnight, and then come back the next day to do the install. But try these nails first. Practice a few rounds. It's going to take a while to get the hang of it, but like anything in life, if it was easy, everybody would do it. Now, we're working our way to the other end here. Like I said, the 11 16 nails for two layers of floors. Consider the five ace nails if you're going directly into the concrete. And if you just can't win that battle, get that heavy duty adhesive. PL 400 liquid nails, heavy duty or contact adhesive. Glue it in the place. And I'll do another follow up video showing how to actually install the carpet into the metal when it's all said and done. So we got this down. Everything's good. We're going to go ahead and trim the pad up to it. Just a hair behind it. Nothing too crazy. If you go too far back, there will actually be a dip when you do the install and you don't want that. So just cut the pad back so it's just a hairline short of the teeth of the metal and you're good to go. So that's all I have for this video here. If you got any questions about the carpet and flooring industry, you know to go ahead and throw that comment down below. As always, I truly appreciate you tuning into this. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.